So this is uh, example two in the area of solving questions that involve the calculation of chronometer rate and chronometer error. All right, I'll provide you uh, with the link of example one along with this video so you can watch both the examples. So I'm just trying to put up different examples uh, of the way in which questions are formulated um, in this area of uh, calculating chronometer rate and chronometer error. All right, so this is example two. I'll go straight into the question. Um, the question says that it's 1200 hours GMT on 23rd of June 2019 and the chronometer was 6 minutes 20 seconds fast. All right, uh, find the chronometer error at 700 hours GMT on 4th of August and again this will be 2019. I know these dates haven't arrived yet but I'm just trying to I just took some random dates here all right so it doesn't matter if the daily rate was three seconds losing all right so again it's 1200 hours gmt on 23rd of june 2019 and the chronometer was six minutes 20 seconds fast on the 23rd of june you have to find the chronometer error at 700 hours gmt on 4th of august uh, if the daily rate was three seconds losing all right, so if you didn't get the question, I'll, I'll explain the question as we start solving the solution. All right, so for those of you who guys don't know, the chronometer is a bridge equipment. It's a device kept on the bridge and it's a clock. And it basically gives you the GMT time. So the time that you see on the chronometer is the GMT time. But sometimes the chronometer runs ahead or it falls back from the actual GMT time. So we have to make a comparison of the chronometer time, the time at the GMT, which we normally obtain from a radio signal. And that comparison gives us a chronometer error and we have to correct these errors so normally the difference between the chronometer and the gmt doesn't should not be more than few seconds but for academic purposes and for the purposes of forming questions we um, put up big numbers of errors like six minutes and 20 seconds and all that uh, that you see in the question here all right so let's start with the solution here so as i uh, as the question says it's uh, gmt 23rd of june uh, 1200 hours all right and uh, you have to find the error for GMT 4th of August for 700 hours. So from 23rd June 1200 hours to 4th of August 700 hours is 41 days and 19 hours. So which is also equal to 41.8 days. Now let me first show you how is it 41.8. So it's 41 days and 19 hours. So 19 hours divided by 24 hours will be 0.8 of a day. That's why it's 41.8 days. Now let me show you how it was 41 days. So you can see the calculation is given here. All right. So start from 23rd of June, 1200 hours and go up to 30th of June, 1200 hours. How many days is that? Seven days. All right. So we are going from 12 to 12. So it's easier for you to calculate the days. Then go from 30th of June, 1200 hours to 31st of July, 1200 hours. That will be 31 days because there are 31 days in july right then from 31st of july 1200 hours go up to 3rd of august 1200 hours not 4th of august for which you need 3rd of august because on 4th of august you don't have to go up to the 1200 hours you stop at 700 hours that's why we stopped a day before and then that gives us three days finally from 3rd of august 1200 hours to 4th of august 700 hours which is the question or which is the one that is given to us in the question is equal to 19 hours so if you add the days together it's 7 plus 31 38 plus 3 41 days and then 19 hours so that's the calculation and then of course you divide 19 by 24 hours you get 0.8 of a day so you add 0.8 to 41 you get 41.8 days all right you should do this calculation by yourself as well and see if this matches my calculation or not then the question says the daily rate of, of the chronometer uh, was three seconds losing that means it was losing three seconds a day so basically that means that the chronometer was getting slow all right so if you are losing uh, three seconds per day in 41.8 days you will lose an accumulated rate of 41.8 multiplied by 3 seconds per day so this is 3 seconds of course and this is 41.8 days so per day 
uh, is 3 seconds so in 41.8 days you will lose approximately 125 seconds and in the calculator you might get 125.1 or 2 but we have to ignore the decimal we have to take a round number the nearest one that's why i've written approximately here so it's 125 seconds 125 seconds you are losing which is also equal to 2 minutes and 5 seconds so this 125 divided by 60 will give you 2 minutes and 5 seconds so 125 seconds means uh, so 60 seconds one is 1 minute so 120 seconds is 2 minute and the remaining seconds is a second so 2 minutes and 5 seconds and I have put slow here that's because if it's losing 3 seconds per day the chronometer is becoming slower all right. that's why you write slow all right so now the chronometer error which is given to us in the question is 6 minutes 20 seconds fast but the rate that we have calculated above is 2 minutes and 5 seconds slow so that means the rate of fastness is now slowing down that's why the error on 4th of august 700 hours will be 6 minutes 20 seconds fast minus 2 minutes 5 seconds slow which will be 4 minutes and 15 seconds fast so if you don't know what this means let me show it to you all right so let me show you here so this is what it means so if this was gmt clock all right and this is the chronometer all right so when the gmt clock and this is in the case of 6 minutes and 20 seconds fast that means when the gmt say for example if when the gmt was reading 12 o'clock the chronometer was reading again this is uh, incorrect uh, let me show it to you properly here so the small will be here and the big will be here right it was reading 12 06 minutes 20 seconds that means the chronometer was running faster than the gmt that's why this is 6 minutes and 20 seconds fast but what it was saying was that it's losing 3 seconds per day so that means this 6 minutes 20 seconds it was that it was fast every day 3 seconds was being lost that means it was coming slowly back towards 12 o'clock per day the rate at which it was coming back towards 12 o'clock that was 3 seconds per day so in 41.8 days it lost 125 point 125 seconds which is 2 minutes and 5 seconds and that's why the rate of fastness was slowing down that's why we said it's 2 minutes and 5 seconds slow all right so this 2 minutes of 5 seconds slow so that's why in 41.8 days this clock now then became lesser so this became 12 minute 12 hours 4 minute and 15 seconds so from 6 minutes 20 seconds that it was it lost 125 seconds because of its slowness and the error became 4 minutes and 15 seconds fast so although it is still fast you have lost an amount of 2 minutes and 5 seconds so although the chronometer is still ahead of the GMT but the rate of its fastness reduced because you were losing 3 seconds every day all right so i hope this explanation was easy for you to understand if it was not then please write to me in the comments and uh, let me know how I, how I can explain this better all right so uh, the reason i show you these calculations this way is because this is the way you'll have to do it in the exam if such questions come in so let me know if there's any other way i can explain this problem all right i'll put up the video on uh, the third example soon because that shows you a different kind of questions that are formulated in this area of chronometer rate and error. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye guys and thank you to all my subscribers again.